Where's my Oscar for acting like everything is fine? somewhat like mini vlog element into my Dollar Tree haul. So give this video a thumbs up if you definitely enjoy clips like that and you need to see more. I'm trying, I think you guys are crooked. But yeah, definitely um, thumbs up this video if you want, I'm trying to get you guys leveled. If you want me to do more of those and I will definitely incorporate more into my hauls. Um, it's Friday. It is a rainy day here in Dallas. It was a crazy thunderstorm last night. So intense that it knocked stuff off my walls. Like, insane. Uh, lightning had to have struck not too far from here for that to have happened. But I digress. Um, when it is rainy, I am a creature of habit, so I had to put on Goonies. It's like my go-to first right off the bat rainy movie, then I always do Clue. But because we started off with Goonies, I had to wear my Goonies hat. I got this off of Amazon, it's my favorite. And yeah, so anyways, all right, for today's haul, it's actually not that big. Everything is in this bucket here, but I do feel like at the end of this video, we're gonna do some organizing in my kitchen. There's just this one little section of cabinets that's been driving me nuts. So stay tuned to the end, but let's go ahead and dive in. I'm doing a refill. So I had to get some more of these nail guard sponges. Uh, let's mention Vanessa again. She recommends these. I see her use these in her videos all the time. So I had to get those. Then finally, it's been a while since right before quarantine, uh, these gloves just kind of disappeared and they're the disposable gloves and I finally found some. You get a hundred in here for a dollar, which is amazing. Um, they're not like the best. I don't think that you necessarily, um, they're not the best for cleaning, but they do say protects hands while cleaning dishes, kitchens, bathrooms, floors, and other household chores. So I did get them for that, but I also got the other sturdier ones. So I got a couple packets of these, I believe. Yeah, just because I have organized under my kitchen sink, I'll find that video and link it down below. It's like all Dollar Tree stuff. I organized all the bins and put products in there. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'll link it down below, but it was time to refill the sponges. So I got three of the yellow pack. Okay, the next cleaning product is this Comet Cleaner. Antibacterial spray cleaner cuts through grease and grime, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. I'm trying to think, have they ever done this Comet Cleaner before? Because when I saw it at Dollar Tree, something just sparked and said, either I've never seen it or it's been a very long time since I've seen it. So I decided to pick up some cleaner. The other thing that I want to do um, is I actually want to organize my cleaning supplies. I want to buy all the same bottles and then have like certain labels so that, just so that they all look uniform. Um, I've been getting really into cleaning and and all of that. Definitely obviously very inspired by, by Vanessa and I I don't know. I'm thinking I want to do some sort of organization in that sense. So thumbs up if you want to see some sort of video like that. Um, okay. Then what do I show you next? You know what? Let's go for these. I've never in my life have I seen dog treats like this. I feel like I showed you guys like dog cookie bones maybe from Dollar Tree, but I don't know that I've ever shown you guys these, but they are dog treats. 
um, vet recommended, sourced and processed entirely in the United States. They're fresh baked. And these are little like doggy bone biscuits. And then these look like confetti hearts. What in the world? It gives you the ingredients in the back. Um, guaranteed analysis, uh, gourmet dog biscuits and are to be fed as treats only. So they're not obviously, you know, food. You don't wanna pour a whole bowl, a whole thing into their bowl. But anyways, I thought those were really cute. Found them at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Okay, next up, these are brand new and I have no idea really what they are. So I'm gonna open one up, is this all? Yeah, I'm gonna open one up on camera. And what are they? Light up balloons. I mean, very, very simple. The question though is, did I get all pink? Is that what this stripe indicator means down below? I found a whole box of these, but they were all pink and I didn't find the color name on here. So I didn't know if this indicates that it's pink or not, but let's open it and find out. Like stop talking and let's figure it out. Um, also, light up balloons how crazy is that for a dollar right so let's see yeah okay the balloon is pink it there's a whole thing going on here oh my god there's it's a whole it's a whole deal deflate with me so whoa i guess you put this sticker once you're ready to deflate you take the sticker and put it around the base of the this is a whole thing you guys why? What does this mean? For a whole balloon? Also, you're supposed to use some sort of pump. Just so that you guys can see that there. But I mean, it gives you all of the instructions. Oh, this is kind of like a measuring tool so that you know when to stop pumping, I guess. Okay. Um... Okay, so I can definitely feel something here at the top, so that's gonna be the light up feature. So I imagine when you pull this, it's supposed to, oh, there we go. It does light up, wow. Oh, I hope you guys can see that. I don't know if you can really see it, but it is definitely lit up in there. That is crazy. I don't think you guys can see in there. What? That is amazing. So now the question is, because it looks like they come in green and blue. Green and blue. But according to the back of this picture, there's a fourth balloon that has like a bunch of colors. So I don't know. I'm definitely going to be on the lookout. I think these are really darling. Really awesome for a dollar. So anyways, there's, there's that. Um, okay, here's another product actually for cleaning that I needed. I needed to refill my toothbrushes. I use these to just get into, you know, grooves and cracks and things like that and clean. And it was time for a refill of those as well, just because the bristles wear down. So there's that. Now the other day or the other haul, I showed you guys a couple of uh, new toys. I think I titled the video something like stocking stuffers and I found more. I was just like, what? This is Pop and Hop, which reminds me of a dupe of another game, but I don't know the, the name of the game off the top of my head just because I don't own it. I've never played it. I just know that I've seen something like this. So if you know the name of the game, please comment down below. But this is a dollar, you guys. Like, that is very impressive. And then I found this one, which is Don't Let Them Pop. Now this one, I've never seen anything quite like it. I, I don't know what this means, but basically I think you can't let the discs pop off this base, maybe? I'm not entirely sure, but what a cool concept to have these little mini games for a dollar. Like that's just, that's amazing. I immediately think gift baskets, just right off the bat. Okay, and then I found some new pens. So I, have actually a couple of exciting things to announce. And I didn't even realize that I'm gonna announce the second thing because I wasn't planning on it, but 
listen, let's go for it. The first thing is, yes, planner stuff is coming back. Um, and there is a chance I might actually put it back on this main channel. So I'm still in, I'm still trying to figure that out, but it's coming back. The second announcement is that I'm also bringing back my Etsy shop. However, this is going to be a completely new shop and I've actually named it in the description box. So I don't know if anyone picked up on it in the last couple of videos, but it's there. So it's not, there are a couple of things that have, that are up on my shop. I don't know why I did this. Like, I guess they're launched, but I haven't finished, um, designing like the full collection of what I want out. But anyways, so there you go. Okay. But what I was trying to get at is that when I saw this pen set, it just triggered me to tell you guys that yes, planner videos are coming back. I've just been very excited to now be looking into a lot of different pens and stuff because I do want to dive into bullet journaling. And uh, this is the Comfort Grip Retractable 1.0 millimeter. So I really like that. And all three of them are blue ink, by the way. And I love the ombre effect of these. A light, a medium, and a dark blue. That is really cool. These are definitely brand new. And the grip. There's even like a little window where you can test out the grip. And they're pretty, pretty nice. So hopefully the ink quality is really good too. So I got those. All right. The last couple of items before we get into the organization are Expo markers. And the amount of colors that I found blew me away. However, I want to say that obviously each one was a dollar. So I don't know what the price is of a full like Expo collection, maybe from Walmart. Um, maybe I'll drop something here in the picture or comment it or right here or something. But just to let you know, I found these at Dollar Tree. They are low odor inks and I found so many different colors. It just y'all it blew me away truly and honestly I, I feel like I didn't even get them all two different greens that's amazing and then I can't hold them all up together but I also found two different blues and a purple I mean the full-on rainbow the only one that I think I don't have in here is orange. Wait, did I, did I have an orange? Um, and the brown, oh, we have an orange. Here's an orange right here. So maybe just brown and um, I do have a pink in here, like a hot pink. So that's crazy that I found the X, the actual Expo marker brand at Dollar Tree. So it is a dry erase marker. So there's that. And then obviously the last thing in this haul are these bins. This is what I'm going to use to organize the kitchen sink cabinet area. And I do want to say that this is going to be a temporary solution for me because in the future, one of the things I do want to upgrade in the kitchen are the cabinets. I imagine that I'm going to do some sort of Ikea system where, you know, you kind of like drill or mount it in, into there and just kind of create some sort of organization that way. But it's been driving me nuts. And I know that the easiest way to deal with that are the bins from Dollar Tree Plus. Once I move on to the Ikea system, I can use these in other areas of my house. So anyways, let's go ahead and organize.